Hey you, have you ever wanted to take a troll for a walk across the ocean? Or create your very own aqua zoo by taking your pet sea serpent to your local pond? Well in this video I'll be showing you how to do just that, with the abyssal harpoon. Results may vary. The abyssal harpoon of course has more practical uses, like you can also attach it to other players or any tamed animals to drag them back to your base for easy access and harvestability. It also makes hunting a hell of a lot easier if you're a true viking like me. And as a bonus I'll also be showing you how to obtain the abyssal razor, a dagger capable of unleashing over 300 damage when you backstab somebody. More on that in a moment. All I ask in return though is that you drop a like on the video, otherwise Thor will genuinely be upset. So to craft these abyssal weapons we need to first obtain chitin, fine wood and leather. Chitin, a mysterious ingredient, must be harvested from the back of an ancient leviathan sea turtle that exists in the vast oceans of Valheim. I'm not kidding, that's actually where you find chitin. So as you guys can see we've just found a turtle island in the middle of the ocean and I've actually marked it previously. There's a few more I've marked on the map as well and I recommend whenever you come across one of these land masses just in the middle of the ocean or whatnot you actually go ahead and mark its location because then you can come back here when you actually do need some chitter. So I'm just going to row the boat into the turtle nice and slowly and then I'm going to go ahead and get up and make sure that if you're on a smaller boat that the ladder is facing the turtle because you want to easily be able to access your boat if the turtle does sink because as soon as you start mining these abyssal barnacle deposits to get shit in every time you mine one of them there's a 25 percent chance that the turtle will sink into the water i mean it's called a leviathan but I, i'm pretty sure this is like a big turtle shell that is a landmass. So what we're going to do is we're going to position ourselves so we've got like six of these and then we're going to go ahead and start mining. As you can see we've got one down, there's another one here. Okay so we've just triggered it. As you can see there's loads of dust but we've probably got a bit of time to carry on mining these three just here which I put between myself and the boat. I think we're still good. So we can actually go ahead and walk over here and start mining this one as well. Nope, it looks like it's about to start sinking. Okay, so now we can just walk over to our boat again and go ahead and jump in. And as you're about to see, the turtle should now sink underwater. I could have probably spent a few more seconds there actually mining it. But um, just to be safe, we've run to our boat and now we are totally safe before it sinks into the water, which is always such a cool thing to sort of behold. Now, to be very efficient and safe, it's actually best to remove all of your armor and just bring a pickaxe. This will increase your stamina recovery and mean you can run faster back to your boat after you trigger the Leviathan. So once again, we're going to get our pickaxe out and we're just going to see how much we can actually mine here. Now, I actually do have some extra food and a stamina potion. So I can make sure that I got plenty of stamina to actually escape just in case we need it. You can see he's already pissed. And there's the how. We got a bit of time before he sinks into the water now. There's the second one. Probably got a bit of time just to mine this last bit. And he's probably going to start going into the water right now. And as you guys can see, I can run and jump into my boat. And there's a bit of a kind of like sort of sound as he actually goes into the water there. But you really have probably a little bit more time than expected there before you can actually, you know, run to your boat. And obviously if you park it nearby and you have at least, you know, three bars of stamina, you're probably quite safe. And especially if you're not wearing full armor like I am, because obviously I'm kind of risking losing my armor right now. So there you go, it's disappeared from the world 
And, you know, the best way to mine this is usually with a group of people because then you can really maximize the amount of chitin that you get out of it. But every time you hear that sort of howl and grumble, you're going to want to get off and just have a look around you. But usually, as long as you're on your boat side of the turtle, you have enough time just to sort of like, you know, swim over to your boat and then use the ladder once you get there. But make sure you always have some stamina reserve for the worst case scenario that you don't make it back to your boat because otherwise you're just going to drown. We're also going to need some fine wood which can be mined with an iron pickaxe or a bronze pickaxe. And you just need to find a birch tree or an oak tree in the meadows and then you can go ahead and chop that down. And within you'll find some fine wood. There you go, we've now got 27 fine wood. And the final thing we'll need is some leather scraps, which we can obviously get by killing boars. Hello there, Mr. Boar. Absolutely obliterated him. Jesus. My God. And there we have the leather scraps on the floor there. If you guys are interested where to get this Warhammer, by the way, I'll leave a link on my other guide on where to get that. And I've also made one on where to get the best bow in the game as well. So we're going to want to come over to the workbench and as you can see we now have all the materials we need to craft the abyssal razor and the abyssal harpoon. Starting out with the abyssal razor you only need four fine wood, 20 chitin and two leather scraps. Now obviously you can also upgrade the damage even further. It is the second best dagger in the game and it is rather easy to acquire to be honest so I actually recommend upgrading it obviously with that 10 times backstab damage you can hit over 240 damage with this weapon and once you've upgraded the abyssal razor to level 4 its maximum upgraded quality it will do a total of 30 damage so when you actually backstab someone you're going to be doing 300 damage I actually had to take a second to add a zero on then one of the best things about this dagger though is as you can see the attack speed is super fast and the amount of stamina it consumes with each attack is also very very small and obviously you can parry people with it too and if you parry someone with it and then attack them you actually get a four times damage bonus which means it can do a lot of damage in the right hands if you use it efficiently. I have spotted my prey as you can see he's one sweaty boy. Hada! 94 damage get wrecked some sneaky sneaky 173 damage on the grayling beautiful 116 damage beautiful next we have the abyssal harpoon which is mainly just a weapon that you use for the utility after you've tamed an animal for example you can actually use the abyssal harpoon to latch onto them and then drag them back to your base <laughs> You're mine. You think you can run from me, dear? You can find a whole playlist on the best weapons in Valheim linked below, including how to get the best bow, the best warhammer, and lots more satanic laughter. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.